ask, I want to basically go through a couple things relative to uh, ethanol versus CO2. Um, couple, the main thing there, uh, you know, everybody wants to know what the differences are. Um, the main thing really is uh, chemical contamination, cross-contamination, uh, in my view. Um, a lot of people who use denatured ethanol, those denaturants always end up in the end extract. You can see them all. Um, and of course, the equipment that we have in our laboratory, of course, we do see them all. Um, so if you're using any kind of uh, ethanol with a denaturant, uh, we'd encourage you to, to just not use that as a smokable product or an ingestible product. Um, the other thing would be, um, if you do use ethanol, you should be using food grade ethanol. I know that in some jurisdictions, it's actually against the law not to use food grade ethanol. And I think that that's uh, probably a pretty good idea. So CO2 has a, doesn't have any of those residuals. So that's one of the main benefits of CO2. But the other big benefit uh, is, is the low cost of the CO2 itself. We're buying it at, you know, just dirt cheap, you know, four and a half cents a pound. So um, the operating costs are really low. Um, we, we, our calculations and basically our own operation here that has done a bunch of ethanol, um, we, we're looking at approximately five to 10 X less per gram to process with CO2. So that's the kind of thing that you need to be thinking about. 